Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and things are really hopping today in terms of non-human telepathic communications. Um, on the 26th of May I was listening in on uh, a light worker who was uh, talking about the languages of light and uh, she had I think it was five guests who were speaking different sorts of languages of light and one of the guests spoke um, the blue avian races language of life which it makes sense has to do with with birds right it's birds types of sounds and ever since that ever since that day weird things have been happening with regard to the avian communications that I have on the telepathic and uh, actually on the, the physical level to do with their vocalizations there. Um, yesterday I went for a long hike up a mountain and didn't get back until four or so in the afternoon and when I got back I was hearing the birds going on. It was, I, it was, it was like the key to remembering of speaking with birds and I, I thought I thought it probably never happen again, you know. But today I was outside working, uh, working on the roof and working around the yard, and be darned if it didn't happen even more so. So somehow or other, through that uh, Mar May 26th uh, light worker talk that was given, uh, and through the other channelings too, I guess uh, some some key to remembering has been given to me with regard to speaking avian dialects. The interesting thing is that the birds have been telling me now that I'm sitting down, they've been t translating for me what it is that other sorts of animals around here say and, and how it's better not to do that and how to fix what they're saying so that the, the telepathic plane will be more uplifted here on Earth. And I'm going to try to remember some of the things that they told me. It was, you know, for a person who read uh, fairy tales in childhood and found out through that method that there are people who are gifted with speaking to the, the members of the, of the natural world, it's been a lifelong hope of mine that, that one day I should become fluent in the languages of, of different kinds of beings, other beings than human beings here on earth. And it looks like it's beginning to come true. It's, it's almost, it's incredible really. It's after all this time that something like that should be happening. So I'm very, very blessed, very grateful. And I'm going to try and come up with some of the things that I learned pell-mell today about about other kinds of animals, other kinds of beings from the perspective of the avian race, especially of songbirds here on Earth. Okay, so the first comment they had, and this went on for quite some long time, is they, they, they don't like, uh, like an emotional habit I have of saying uh, with my emotional body, dear me, dear me. And they say that it's no good to say that, dear me. Instead, what you can say is, dear me, dear me, like that. And then it will be okay. I think I got that right. But they say to repeat, don't say, dear me, dear me. Say, dear me, dear me. I can't say it with the chirps and vocalizations that they have, but later I might, if this continues, I might be able to get some recordings and voice over what it, it sounds like to me.